All right, I'm flashing my BIOS, so I thought I'd uh, record that too, in case anybody wants to do the same thing. Um, I've obtained the latest BIOS for the P55-UD4P. I've put it on a USB flash drive, inserted it, and uh, booted into the BIOS. And I've also loaded optimized defaults and booted back into the BIOS. So when you're at this point, you look down at the bottom there and you hit F8 to go into the QFlash utility. Enter QFlash, yes. So what we want to do is update the BIOS from a drive. My USB drive is showing up as a hard drive. So press enter there. Now the latest Gigabyte BIOS is F4R, I believe. I've got two of them on this one, so I'm going to make sure that's what it is first. I believe, I'm almost positive it's F4R. But I'm going to make sure it's not F4P because I should have written it down. Yeah, yeah, it's F4R. So, make sure and choose F4R, hit enter, and hope the power doesn't go out. And then it'll ask you, are you sure you want to update this BIOS? Enter to continue or escape to abort. So I'm going to press enter to continue. It's updating, erasing, updating, erasing. Do not turn off the power or reset the system. If the power goes out right now, you're in some trouble. Boy, I wish it would go faster. Oh, not normally a nervous type guy, but this is nerve wracking. Jeez. I'm only doing this because my uh, USB keyboard won't work in uh, DOS mode without a flash on this board. So it's done, it's verifying it. Okay, so BIOS completed, pass. Press any key to continue. Okay, so you want to reset at this point, it gives you a hotkey, escape, to reset. Are you sure you want to reset, it says. So I hit enter. So that should, hopefully, reboot. And you want to boot back into your BIOS. And it looks like we've done it. BIOS version F4R, right there. So they say, after you've uh, done this, to load optimized defaults. Save and exit again just to continue it, or to uh, make sure it's good. Then you'll have to boot back into your BIOS one more time and uh, do your hard drive, set your hard drives and all your other settings, just like it was new. 
So this might turn into a long video. I guess I'll video it. You don't uh, need to watch it. I'm going to do all my settings. Don't have a floppy. Usually want your CD-ROM as your first. These are just personal uh, personal preferences on my settings. You don't need to set them like this. On your initial display, if you're using the uh, X16 slot, um, that is the PEG. I want to set that so it doesn't have to look all over for where you've got your card. The full screen logo shell, that's just that big gigabyte flash screen at the first. So I've got my first boot device, CD, second is hard drive, and I've got my hard drives lined up there. I'm running in IDE mode right now for a while. I usually run in AHCI, but trying this out in IDE for my uh, SSD to see how it works. Patriot has uh, told me to use IDE for whatever reason with an SSD. I haven't noticed that much difference. So, all my USB stuff enabled 1394 enabled, eSATA enabled, running a 64-bit operating system, so I don't know what that is, but anyway. And that should be it. I'm going to make sure it boots into Windows and everything's good just to show you guys. There's my uh, BIOS version F4R. And it looks like, looks like we're probably good. That's how you update a BIOS on a gigabyte to uh, most gigabyte boards are the same with Q Flash. If it has Q Flash, that's about how you do it. So hopefully that helps somebody someday.